Select the best reagent or set of reagents to accomplish the following transformation. So if we take a look at our starting material, we see that we have an aldehyde and an alkene, and that this alkene is conjugated with the aldehyde. Um, and so we can also label this by the alpha and beta positions. So this is an alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. And if we look at our product, um, we still see that that alkene is there. And it appears that we've added a two carbon atom nucleophile to the carbonyl. So we've got a new bond right here. And so we need a carbon nucleophile. So probably some sort of organometallic reagent. So let's say metal. So we're saying we want an organometallic reagent. Um, and we want one that's going to add to the aldehyde carbon specifically. So when we have an alpha beta unsaturated system, we have two electrophilic sites. So the carbonyl carbon is electrophilic and the beta carbon is electrophilic. So we have two electrophilic sites. So if we want our organometallic reagent to react with the carbonyl carbon, we need it to be a strong base. We want one of our more reactive um, organometallic reagents. So we want a strongly basic A strongly basic organometallic reagent. So that means for our first step, we're going to need something like either a Grignard or um, you could also use an alkyl lithium, although it's more common that you would see a Grignard. And then as a second step, you would need some sort of proton source. And oftentimes, because we have the alkene here, and this could react if we had aqueous water or yeah, aqueous aqueous water, <laughs> aqueous acid, um, we might just use water or even a neutral alcohol. So you might see small alcohols like methanol or ethanol being used there. So we want to look for our strong organometallic reagent. So in A, we see a Wittig reagent. So that's not what we're looking for. That would give us an alkene. Okay, so that would add an alkene to that carbonyl. Um, if we look at B, this is a cuprate. This would add to the beta carbon. This would be one of those less reactive organometallic reagents. That would add to the beta carbon. So that is not what we're looking for. Um, C, LDA is a really strong base. We're going to see this used in a later chapter for something completely different. But finally, when we get to D, we see our Grignard reagent and a proton source. So ethanol here is just acting as a source of a proton to put the hydrogen on that alcohol.